1.5 and with 1.5 we are looking at just some basic problem solving and setting up some algebraic uh, models um, and this is just let's take a look at some examples here so you can see what everything looks like okay first of all it's saying which of the numbers 5 6 or 7 is a solution to this problem basically what it's saying is take each of these and plug them in so let's start. 95 minus 5 equals 90. Does it equal 88? Nope. So fine, that doesn't work. 95 minus 6 equals 89. Nope. I want 88. So 7 works. And why does 7 work? 95 minus 7 equals 88, which is what we're trying to equal right here. Which is the numbers of the solution. Same thing. 71 minus 11 will give you 60. So, that's not the right answer. 71 minus 12 will give you 59. That's not the right answer. So all that's left is 13, and 71 minus 13 does give you 58. All right, so you are saving money to buy a new basketball that costs $62. Uh, you have 31 saved. How much more money do you need to save? So, then we use this model. Amount saved. Okay, it says you have 31 saved. So, 31 goes there. Um, the cost of the basketball? $62. The amount left to save? That's what I don't know. There is your equation to solve. So, I subtract $31 onto both sides to solve for x and we end up getting x equals 31 which means that I need to save 31 more dollars. Um, uh, Mina left Portland, Oregon at 9.30 a.m. AM and arrived in San Francisco at 9.30 p.m. Her average speed was 61 miles per hour. About how many miles did she go? Okay, well very simple. D equals RT. This is a formula with this standing for distance this stands for rate, or in this case, speed, and this stands for the time. Okay, well, this is saying that they went miles per hour. That's the speed, so that goes in there for R. Okay, uh, the time, well, how long did it take? Well, from 9.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. is 12 hours. So, that, when you multiply together, will tell you the distance of how far that they travel. So when I take 61 and we multiply it by 12, we realize that um, they went 732 miles when you multiply them together. Hannah, pleb, Hannah pays $39 per month for her cellular phone, which includes one hour of use. After the first hour, she pays 20 cents per minute. How much will her monthly bill be if she uses her phone 2.5 hours? Okay, well, there, without even setting up a formula, you could sit here and go, oh, okay, well, it's $39. That's a flat fee. And in that flat fee, it includes the first hour, right? So, if it includes the first hour and she talked for 2.5 hours, that means we subtract to find out that there's 1.5 hours left over. So, plus, we have the 1.5 hours. She pays 20 cents per minute. So, we need to switch this into minutes then. If it's one and a half hours, I take 1.5 and how many are in? Um, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. So 1.5 times 60 is 90 minutes. So really what we're saying is there's 90 minutes and 90 minutes times 20 cents for each minute is how we can figure out what that is. So 39 plus 90 times 0 0.20 for 20 cents and that gives us a $57 phone bill. Now 39 is the base like we said. Okay, that's no problem. Plus 20 cents is how much it costs and so you can see an equation. It's going to be the number of hours, which we don't know how many hours it is, 
minus that one because that is the first hour that you talk, right? So for example, we talked 2.5 hours, so I take that one initial hour off, that's how I got 1.5. Uh, but here's the other problem. That's the hours, okay, right? That's the hours, but that's the hours in hours. We want them in minutes, so we also have that times 60. So 39 plus 0.2 times 60 is 12 times x minus 1, and that I got that 12 because I multiplied those two together. When I distribute that through, I get a 12x minus 12, and we have a 39 out in front. So I take that 39 and that 12, the negative 12 there, I subtract them. So the actual equation we get is 12x plus 27, and this works for the amount of minutes that are over one hour is basically what that works for. So if you talked for one hour, right, one hour, if you put that in, um, you'd end up <coughs> getting how many? 39 minutes, right? One hour of use, 39 minutes, because that's what you get. 39, or sorry, 39 bucks. After that, it's going to go up from there. See, and when we put in the, uh, put that in, we figure out how much it worked. So, uh, uh, an awards dinner costs two hundred twenty-five dollars plus five dollars for each person making reservations. The total bill is seven thirty-five. How many people made reservations? Well, they're saying that the base is two hundred twenty-five dollars plus five dollars for each person. Well, for each person is normally like a clue for multiplication. We don't know how many people there were, so we'll call them X. We're saying the total bill is 735. So this is like your equation. 225 plus 5X equals 735. So I'd subtract 225 on both sides. Leave me with 5X. And 735 minus 225 is 510. Since it's 5 times X, I'd divide both sides by 5. And when I do that, I end up with x equals 102. So 102 people showed up. You are selling pizza for a fundraiser. Slices of plain pizza sell for a dollar a slice. Pepperoni sells for two dollars a slice. At the end of the evening, you find out that you've collected a total of thirty dollars. You sold ten slices of plain. So, ten slices of plain, and how much does plain cost? A buck a slice. Okay. Um, you know that pepperoni is two dollars a slice, but we don't know how many, right? So we'll call that x, and we know that we made thirty bucks. Well, this is like saying ten because ten times one is ten. That's like saying two x because two times x is two x, and we know that it equals thirty. So I subtract ten on both sides. 2x equals 20. Since 2 times x, I divide by 2 on both sides, and we get x equals 10, meaning I sold 10 slices of pepperoni. Okay. A rectangle is 5 feet longer than its width, so we got a rectangle. And there it is. Um, a rectangle is 5 feet longer than its width, so I don't know what the width is, we'll just say. But I do know this. I know that whatever that is, this is 5 longer than it. How does that work? If this was 1, that's 6. If that's a 2, that's a 7, right? 5 longer. The perimeter of the rectangle is 34. Well, the perimeter, perimeter means you just simply add up all the sides. Well, if that side's x because it's a rectangle, so is this side. If that side's x plus 5, then so is this side. So if I add everything up, 1, 2, 3, 4, add them all up, I have 1. Then the other side's x plus 5. Then th that side is an x. Then the last side, the bottom, is x plus 5. So what do I do? 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. 5, 10. And it equals 34. So there's my equation. 
So I minus 10 on both sides, so I got 4x equals 24. It's 4 times x. So I divide both sides by 4. We get x equals 6. So what does that tell me? It tells me that this side length was 6 and this side length was 11. All this was is problem solving. Um, there's no direct way to do this besides reading through the problems, but there is some keys in words um, to remember. So if you remember some of the key activating words, it can help you set up some equations when you're doing some of the problems. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.